All right, tonight is Chaos Theory, tiers four through six. So I'm going to try to get by with my team, who is eh, decently powered. I got Shuri at tier 14, and then uh, 84k, Panther at 40, 53k, Killmonger at 43k, and Baku at 28, and then a little Okoye down here at 15. I don't <coughs> expect to have too much trouble with the 4th and 5th tier, but we'll see if 6 is a bit of a stretch. I don't know, but that's what I'm looking to find out right now. So I'm not really sure how it's going to go down, but we'll see. Hmm. I need to clear a path to the teleporter. I'm pretty sure I can just auto this. Especially when they only have 9k power. Man, like, the first four levels of those are so easy. Alright, according to the record, some of these were shipped elsewhere. Am I reading this right? Yes, when they integrated with the mechanic. Bye. Looks like we have one more stop to make. <laughs> Okoye, please navigate us to Mr. Sinister's universe. X 3ROX. How many times will we let that twisted clone betray us? Don't let him talk this time. <laughs> Alright, get some of these gold promo credits now. And I'll have enough for another 5 star, or I do actually, um, now, but and another 4 after this is done, but uh, I'm still trying to think of what I want to do next. I don't know. I'm tempted to invest heavier into Black Order. But uh, not quite sure I want to do that yet. So, security is surprisingly lax. Keep your eyes out for anything that isn't normal. Is there anything normal about that place? No. Of course not. Baku is right. The faster we leave, the better. Sure, you access the network and see if you can find where the red orbs are. I don't want to spend any more time here than necessary. No need. I programmed more gauntlets to track the energy signature. My gauntlets to tra track the energy signature. According to them, the energy is all around us. Look out! Ambush! Yeah! Alright, so the last set of characters is right around 9 to 10k each. Uh, so we'll see how much the power jump is here. If it's only like 20k, it should be pretty easy. But, uh, yeah, when Panther can just one-shot things with this basic, it makes it a lot easier. Alright, find a permanent place for you and my army as soon as we integrate these red orbs into your primitive cortexes. There they are! Ha <laughs> ha! Defeat the clones and we can get to the red orbs! Finally, red orbs! What everybody's been looking for. Obviously. Alright, we got a Toad Blob combo here. So, um, what we can do is clear that positive. Oh no, that didn't work. Um, okay, that didn't do a whole lot of damage. There goes Quay. Oh no, she's still alive. Alright! She survives a little. Nice. Anyway, you want to go for Blob first because he's going to taunt. You're going to have to hit him anyway. So, you might as well just go ahead and hit him. I'm going to taunt with Baku. We'll see how long he stays alive. Especially with a Deadpool here because it, uh, the counter stops his uh, AoE chain. Alright, we'll see if we can get Blob down here. Ooh, wow, big kills. Yeah, so Panther may just carry people, honestly. This might be like the easiest thing. Cause, oh yeah, look at this. Alright, we're just going to do... That slow him. Death proof. Oh no. Oh well. Who cares? Um. <laughs> you don't have to win with uh, anything other than one person alive. So just have at it. Do what you can. There we go. Dispel that d defense up and blast them. Defense up. Speed bar down. Whack. Alright, fascinating. Fighting you is giving me innumerable data points on how to better my creations. Does that mean what I think it means? I think it means that he is learning 
how we fight and is making the next wave of clones harder to beat, then yes. <laughs> okay. That was a little easy. Uh, we'll see how the next one is. This is... I don't know. So this one, it says level 65, gear tier 10, level 5 abilities and all that. Level 5 abilities? I mean, uh, it seems silly to me. I guess they just keep copy and pasting the old one when it was actually tough to get like enough purple gear to, or purple ability things to actually finish off everybody's ability. That's got to be super out of date. <laughs> you defeated my first wave, but how will you fare against the next? <laughs> Shuri, do something. We cannot keep this up all day. Oh, fear not, your highness. You won't live through the day anyway. Yeah, whatever. If nothing else, at least I'll live with bourbon. Nom 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 nom. Alright, let's knock these guys off. Let's see, these don't look like a very big health bar. Yeah, it's only 20k. So if we look at the teams here for tier 6. Couple of Draxes, they're two Red Star, five Gold Star Guardians, and then a Cyclops Storm and Psylocke, so. Alright, well, let's just do a town on these guys, huh? Do defense up to be smart. Smart, smart, smart. Alright, we'll do the ult. Just hope he goes the right way. Nope, he went right into that counter. <laughs> uh, we'll let Mbaku tank for a little bit. Should be fine there. I think we want to kill the Cyclops first. He can be pretty nasty sometimes. Uh, ooh, let's slow stop. Alright, let's see if we can get some kills. Pop us up, Chander ult. Always good for a few, a few kills. And then here, do offense up again. There's a, oh, it dispelled it. Nice. Now we get the storm here. And then we'll... Let's go ahead and kill block her. Let's kill Storm just for the hell of it. Let's just whack Rocket in the face. And boom, boom, boom. This is fairly easy. Uh, I never really used Wakanda, so I was kind of surprised this was actually going to work. Um, I probably leveled them up more than I needed to. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you just have Shuri and Panther, you could probably get by with them at like tier 13, you know? I mean,. Like, look. Alright, let's do this one in slow mo. Oh, you're not gonna kill him, are you? No. Oh, she might. With the assist? Ah, oh, spear to the face, but it didn't kill him. Alright, let's try the special for the kill. Oh, he dropped his knife. Did you see that? <laughs> I'm starting to tire of this, Shuri. Disable his control switch before he activates more clones. I cannot simply pull a plug, brother. He has a techno-organic shield protecting the switch. Alright. Whatever that is. Wait, actually. It may be easy, that easy. If we can reconfigure a few Kimoyo beads to... I don't care what you need to do. Just do it. <laughs> no, I'm very undiplomatic of Black Panther to say. Alright. Well, so... Just a recap here. Um... That was worth a lot of credits, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I'm doing pretty good here. And then 67 gold credits. So and and the, okay, so then the next time you win, uh, you get 40, right? And then you get seven each time after. So I mean that's kind of interesting because that'll give you over 100, which is enough for a six red star of your choice. And then of course 75 of these things would give you enough for a five red star. I think across all of the first time bonuses so that was fairly easy though i mean like stupid easy um so i don't know i'm kind of kind of thinking uh man i don't know what i'm gonna do here but i do I, i'm kind of tempted to get red stars on colossus because i just love him being mixed with phoenix other option is um probably should buy a fourth on Venom if I plan on taking him into D3 uh, city nodes. Although I'm already on my second time through and I'm not really slowing down too bad so I might just ignore that and just get by with the three. He's certainly an excellent addition to the symbiotes. Uh, but the great thing is I don't need to spend more money on Okoye or Baku, so you guys can go right back down to the bottom of my roster. 
<laughs> Alright, and then, like, I'm just thinking, like, you know, who else would be really worth it to, uh, you know, spend Red Star upgrades on? I mean, of the, the characters that I'm using in, like, DD3, you know, the only ones that don't have five or more that I would actually consider upgrading is, like, Invisible Woman and Colossus. Um, I can't really think of anybody else that I would truly spend the upgrade credits on for DD3. Um, or really even just war in general, maybe Thor would be worth it if I upgraded him to tier 14. Um, but yeah, it's hard to, hard to choose, and that's that's kind of funny. Um, I don't know. It's just, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good problem to have, though. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to be in a position where you have, like, 40 people to upgrade. If it's only, like, a half dozen, like, you know, that's cool. Like, I might buy a fourth on Killmonger, because he's actually really good with mercs, and I really enjoy the mercs team. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to think. Invisible Woman's a candidate for me, for sure. And, um, let's see. It'll probably be either her or Colossus. Those are probably my two favorites right now. But it's hard to choose. It really is, so. But that's where we're at. That was, uh, fairly easy to do. Uh, the event only runs for 24 hours, which I kind of don't like. I wish these Flash events stuck around for, like, three days, because, like, if you didn't know or you just forgot or just couldn't log in that day, like, that's a huge amount of stuff to miss out on. And so I really wish they would extend the timers on these things for three days long. Um, not that you get more credit or more tokens every day or something, but you just have three days to complete it. But it also gives you some time to grow your roster a little bit and try to punch up to the next uh, next level if you are having trouble with it, which I think would be good for newer and, and, and you know younger players with lower TCP. And uh, it would help them have a little bit more of a goal to reach and a little bit more time to kind of figure it out, which would be nice. But anyways, nice event for us. Lots of good Red Star stuff. I will think about this and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with it but it is it is a really tough decision just be careful don't waste your credits willy-nilly they are extremely important they are some of the most valuable currency in this game probably the this is definitely the most valuable currency in the game is uh elite up, elite store upgrade credits you gotta spend them very wisely think about what you're trying to accomplish what you're trying to do and plan it out a little bit it does it does take a little bit of work but it's worth it it is going to save you a lot of time in the long run if you pick good characters that have a lot of usefulness around the game so keep that in mind and uh good luck i hope you all finish tier six as well